Hi, I am Niklas Smedis Smedberg. I'm a senior engine programmer at Epic Games and we're here at GDC 2015. So what are your thoughts about how quickly mobile technology is evolving in that space with companies like NVIDIA? Well, I think NVIDIA is really at the bleeding edge of the mobile uh, development on, on uh, especially on both, actually, both feature-wise and performance. You heard uh, yesterday the new uh, Tegra X1. It's uh, about twice as fast as an actual Xbox 360 game console. You know, and we're heading into uh, uh, the land of, of even current gen consoles soon. What are your thoughts about the X1 powered uh, Nvidia Shield and what that opens up to television now? Well, uh, it has opened us for Unreal Engine uh, the possibility to actually have desktop high end graphics on a mobile chip. Like we showed uh, the Rivaler demo uh, last summer. That was the very first beginning of this whole step with the NVIDIA Shield, the K1, and the X1 now. How does NVIDIA work with Epic Games? NVIDIA is probably one of the, our closest relationship we have with anyone else. Uh, we've been working closely together for many, many years. Uh, both, both us coming to them, uh, or and NVIDIA engineers coming to Epic and working side by side, shoulder to shoulder on the very next technology. When it comes to your technology, you guys have very, very high-end video games, Unreal Engine 4. How easy is it to show those kinds of things now on Tegra X1 technology? Yeah, the Tegra chips uh, has been the easiest chips for us to uh, really go into the next generation for us. Uh, because it, it is still a, a mobile GPU, but it is basically a full-featured desktop. So it has been the easiest path for us to uh, take our high-end desktop graphics and bring that to mobile. You guys work with a lot of different developers that all use Unreal Engine 4. What does this open up for them in creating games now that can go to mobile as well as to console as well as the PC? All right, that's a very hard question to answer, but I hope that the, uh, the Tegra GPUs now can not just push on the high end, but just open up the creativity to remove the restrictions of, of uh, game creators and to realize what whatever game they have in mind, that they, they are now able to do that. What excites you when you look at the mobile video game space today from a technology standpoint? I am actually very excited about the, uh, the Tegra Shield that was announced yesterday because it's the first time I think that uh, mobile technology can start to compete with uh, the classic gaming consoles. We're heading into a controversial time that I think is very exciting. The reason what, why NVIDIA has the, a little bit of an upper edge, I think, is that they can come out with an upgraded console next year and it will still be backwards compatible. Xbox and PlayStation don't have that. They can't come up with a, a, a new PlayStation that is higher spec and higher end and still be backwards compatible. Very difficult. Whereas the Shield can just come out with new versions every year. All your games are still going to run and you can just uh, get better and better games. I think that's a, that's a very important advantage that they have. The X1 also supports up to 4K on TV as that starts to roll out and more people start playing and enjoying entertainment on 4K. What role do you see that playing? I, the biggest advantage 4K gives to us game developers is actually not the resolution, but as a marketing checkpoint, it leads the GPU manufacturers to make much, much better GPUs which is good for us game developers because we can use that GPU for games. And we don't necessarily have to run at 4K. Uh, we could run at 2K or whatever, 1080p, that's fine. But we still have that awesome GPU that we can use.